Et donc, bonjour à toutes et à tous les amis, c'est Starol et on se retrouve pour l'épisode 9, oui. L'épisode 9 de Retour vers le futur, oui, déjà l'épisode 9, comme quoi ça passe vite. Alors, donc, on était revenu une deuxième fois en 1900, je ne sais plus combien. Euh, parce que... Que, tout simplement euh, la famille euh, de euh, oh là j'étais là non c'est bon parce qu'il y avait eu des pro la famille de Marty euh, bah, se faisait diriger par euh, par Bill ce qui n'était pas normal et donc euh pardon me sir from the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness I can infer only one thing You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? Alors, en attendant, euh, je sais plus ce que je disais, donc on était revenu pour euh, que ce paradoxe soit déparadoxé. Euh, et donc, nous devions aller au bar clandestin. Sur ce, j'ai pas eu le temps de lire ce qu'il s'est mis. Alors, je vais maintenant, parce que je ne sais absolument pas du tout ce qui a été dit. Euh, je préfère maintenant que faire une connerie. Ah, uh, non At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. On peut pas passer. Wow, what the fuck? What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. <laughs> Hello, Sonny. Sonny? Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? Uh, uh, it's just my new look. I'm trying to prove that you can dress like a gangster without being a gangster. You know? How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Oh, water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ainy and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now where's that speakeasy? Il est Bon, donc on va au bar clandestin. Je sais pas vous, mais moi j'ai l'impression que ce deuxième épisode... Non, oh, excusez-moi, j'ai toujours l'épisode. Euh, que ce... Deuxième... Euh... Je crois que c'était ça. Enfin, je sais plus. Que ce... Que cette deuxième partie de jeu va un peu plus vite. Je crois que c'était là, mais je suis pas sûr. This is where Doc said he'll be after he gets through stashing the DeLorean. Ah. Non, mais. Je sais plus où c'était. Mais allez! Voilà. C'était pas, c'était à côté. Lamont's house of Ermin. Sleep tight, little Ermins. It's closed for the night. Luckily, I don't have a burning need for a greeting card. <rire> Allez. Bon, alors, euh, hop.
derrière la soupe populaire. Voilà, alors. C'est bon. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. <gasps> J'ai pas retenu, putain. Euh, on va tenter, hein. Ah merde, la porte est là. Who said you were worthy? Could you repeat that? Who said you were worthy? Ah, je peux te le lire, en fait. Could you repeat that? Who said you were worthy? Uh... Joe Piscopo? Take a hike, squirt. <laughs> Who died and made you boss? Euronymous Bosch? Who said you were worthy? Bruce Springsteen? Oh, je teste, hein. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Door is day? What will you do if there's a raid? Jump for joy. Who told you to come here? Ah, uh, door is day. Merde. Who told quoi? you to come here? Boss Hog. Je sais plus ce que j'avais dit. C'est horrible. Who is the king of Siam? Qui est le roi de? Euronymous Bosch? No? Who said you were worthy? Bruce? Bruce Springsteen? Après? Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Door is day? What will you do if I break your leg? Wait till Wednesday. Who told you to come here? Bon, on va y arriver, hein? Door is day. Ah! Who died and made you boss? Door is day. Mais c'est quoi la plaque? Who is the king of Siam? Am I? What will you do if I let you inside? Could you repeat that? What will you do if I let you inside? Je ne vous laisse pas entrer. Row my boat. Uh. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Door is day. What will you do if I let you inside? Read a book. <laughs> Who told you to come here? Door is day. Allez. Who gave you the right? To knock on my door. Door is day. What will you do tomorrow? Row my boat. Where do you hang your hat?
Could you repeat that? Where do you hang your hat? Uh, Hattiesburg. Welcome to L Kids, sir. Ok, j'ai pas tout compris. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey Toots, any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh... Assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. Bon, on continue cette discussion. Une What's assurance. this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets, but I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get out of kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know. If I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. It's a bummer, so. Uh. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc. Oh, F L Y. If I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Oh, yeah. Hop là. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. Okay, uh... Oops, pas ça. Il 
Quelqu'un m'a aidé à trouver Arthur. J'aurais envie de dire Einstein, mais... Ah oui, c'est bien ce que je disais. Hey, nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah, quality material. Who are you? Where you from? The name's uh Sonny Crockett. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it, or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. Wait, you ain't leaving till I get the dope on you. You really with the Valenti gang? Hey! Take a hike, squirt. Okay, um... Voilà. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. Voilà. You got stones, Pee Wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink on the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> okay, on peut sortir. Il était bugué dans la porte, lui. Hey, Arthur! Arthur! He's back. Ah oui, on peut pas changer la caméra, ça, ça, je trouve ça dommage. It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Ah, she reached you. I saw him. Who? My grandpa on his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tannen. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. <laughs> okay. I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Don't panic. Je fais attention. Ah, on peut passer la route partout maintenant. Euh... Ah oui, je devais aller voir Einstein et... Mais où est-ce qu'ils sont It's closed for the night. Oui, mais je sais pas où ils sont.
Hill Valley Expo, October 12th through the 15th. Doc says the Expo was the day he officially became a scientist. Seems like he's running a couple months ahead of schedule. Could Arthur be in there? That's way too dark and crowded for me to tell. Majestic arms, transients welcome. Well, they don't get more transient than me and Doc. Sure. Bon, ils doivent pas être bien loin. Ah bah ils sont là. Sonny, you're just in time. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full time to a life of science. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you! Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some <laughs> serious cow flop. Oh, no. get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. <laughs> See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Okay. Le premier chien volant. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Et ben voilà, sur ce, euh, on ira aider Einstein dans le prochain épisode, parce que oui, il est déjà l'heure de nous laisser. Euh, donc euh, j'espère que ce neuvième épisode vous aura plu, n'oubliez pas bah, de, commander, de... <rire> Pardon, de commenter, de laisser des pouces verts, de vous abonner si c'est toujours pas fait, etc, 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 vous connaissez. Voilà, donc c'était Starol pour le neuvième épisode de mon espèce retour vers le futur, salut les amis